What did you think of my analysis at the start? Regardless of, again, people are voting no for a bunch of reasons. I said, they're including they hate the idea, right? But what about my suggestion that Albo, if this thing goes down, needs to look at how he played the game and the Aboriginal political industry needs to understand how it played the game as well and they have helped push people to nut. Well, that's perfectly true. They have. I mean, I watched Marcia Langton today <laughs> and seriously, um, she, well, she made out a case for why a lot of the money that's been expended actually has worked. And she is not disadvantaged. She's prospered very well, as have so many of the activists who are the, um, shall we say, the Pretoria Guard of, uh, uh, of, of this whole thing that they want the voice so they can say, we are now sovereign, give us a treaty and reparations, and you're all legitimate here. Mm. May as well go back to where you came from. Mm. This is not the way to proceed. This is why people are voting no. This is our country. It includes all Australians, and we're all entitled to a life here, and we're all entitled to say this is a group of people who are disadvantaged. Not all people of Aboriginal descent are disadvantaged identify who they are and what those people need and stop trying to put uh, the case that the entire um, people who are related to or have an ancestry that is Indigenous are somehow not recognising that they have benefited from modernity and that this is a really terrific country and we, if we all pull together, we can make those decisions that the people who are in see, real need get it. See, you'd think after hosting this show for as long as I have, when I tell a, a former speaker you've got 90 seconds, she's going to use every one of those 90 seconds, the clock's going to run out, the internal timer, which means, Joe, we'll see you next week.